Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority. And probably take out the Ripe Root Territories, or Ripe Holt. Uh, yeah, Ripe Rolt Territories within this episode, probably fairly on. So, we got quite a bit of political power, only half a political power day we get. But right now, I'm keeping my power arm over here in Reading because we need to secure our northern border. So, I'm... Finally, some soldiers down south to come up here to replace the power armor so we can take out the right for territories. So we can add a little bit, a few more factories, as well as, um, that's resistance, resources. Because right now, it's really, really, really bad. Also, I do want to let you know, my voice is not super great. Um, let's just say I strained my voice a little bit earlier, so uh, if my voice sounds a little bit deeper, there's a reason why. Cool. Um, so right now we're doing Law and Order, having a good time, and my goal eventually is to have mostly power armor. Yes, I do want to get rid of some of my infantry, but I really, really want to focus heavily on a lot of power armor and how it can be used to, to um, great lengths against our enemies. Anyways, let's see, we could defense and organization, organization is nice, but I think what, we could, what could really help... As maybe a little bit more resource efficiency gain. Also, with our planes, with the F-85 that we'll get soon, we really don't need any more fighters. And for dive bombers, we don't need those because we have gunships. So, already, our air force is almost done. Another victim for the Washington Brotherhood. With the fall of the Troll War and the Raider faction under Pal Paladin Rodriguez, I almost said Palpatine, is eager for new plunder. They have set their sights on another isolated settlement, and it seems no one shall stop them. Well, they can go to war with them once that focus is over. Also... Uh, I've had problems with this mod, or Old World Blues and all the sub-mods I put on here. Oh, goodness. So, it kept crashing, so I basically had to disable monthly autosaves, which of course is no real problem. But, I just want to let you know that Old World Blues, not always the most stable mod, but it usually is. Anyways, our new Vice President. As part of the Reconstruction, Granite has decided to appoint a Vice President, a power reserved to be the President pursuant to the 44th Amendment to help manage the nation's divisions. Lynette would help reach an accommodation with the Citizens League and promote their dream of a managed democracy where there's a place for everyone so long as they are in their place. Congressman Hayes would represent an accommodation with the New World Party, a promise that the re reunited states will continue to stumble towards greater equality and freedoms for all Americans. Yeah, we're going under law and order, Hayes. But in his darkest moments, Granite wonders if Americans are ready for democracy. Perhaps the president should continue to manage the nation with a firm partner at his side. Sergeant Dornan has always been an invaluable person since the fall of Navarro, and nobody would dare challenge his orders. I will not make this decision lightly. Um, I have a question, though, about that. Because we can get... I don't think we can even get Lynette. Hold on. We'll talk about that after we do freedom of speech. There have been some upsides to the falls of the NCR. By its final hours, the nation was run by an oligarchic alliance between the Brahmin barons and the caravan companies who turned the NCR's democracy into a joke. They managed to suppress dissident in much of the NCR by buying up or otherwise dealing with hostile reporters and pushed the NCR Senate to pass legislation clamping down what could be, what could and what couldn't be published. The fall of the NCR has given writers room to breathe and while the American promise is to many a breath of fresh air. For all the chaos, there's a feeling in the air, a whisper of old world blues and new, whole, new world hopes. Time will tell whether this will turn into an American spring or a nuclear winter. Well, free press, huh? Degenerates like them belong on a cross. Anyways, the end of the reformers with the enclave's rule expanding across Nevada. The destruction of, and, and the destruction of Dahar Purists. Grant has become president in fact as well as name. Granite supporters no longer call themselves reformers, for they are no longer just enclave scientists and authors, but include Brahmin barons, casino owners, caravanners, salvagers, vault dwellers, and even a few couriers. This is a problem. All these people have different dreams and visions for America. Granite can keep them united for now by saying his priority is reconstruction, but this will not last forever. And if Granite stands for nothing, then what will he fall for? I don't know why my voice turned out like this, but whatever. Democracy seems a lot messier than the old book said. Alright. A world of tyranny and serfdom. With the liberation of California. America's cause seems a brighter, a little brighter, than it has in the past 200 years. But there are those who oppose the restoration of the United States, Khazar's Legion, and the Washington Brotherhood, guided by unholy contempt for America, have formed an alliance against us. Oh dear God. They know that, that if left unchecked, the reunited states will claim this country. And so they've asked for war. And they gonna get it. Oh, baby. 
The enemies of America have begun to gather against you. They will prepare to solidify their lines and move upon you. Kaiser's Legion guarantees the 80s, which I am not going to go to war with. And finally, the National Anthem. The reunited states must choose a National Anthem. Some say we should stick with the Star Spangled Banner, perhaps the Battle Cry of Freedom. But Secret Service spies in the Boneyard find a hollow disc at the pre-war bar called The Eagle by a singer named RuPaul. Her song, American, is a hit with the troops, and she's for the stars and stripes flying high, red, white, and blue, and she is me and you. She's American through and through. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but uh, let's see. Um, last time, I think we went with Star Spangled Banner. I'm probably going to go with my preferred song, one of the, my more favorite song with the uh, Battle Cry of Freedom. Because we're Americans, we're always fighting for freedom, and don't you dare disagree with me and my autocratic rule. Cool, I'm just going to let these um, just kind of pan out. These decisions will go away in six to nine days, so. And don't worry, well, the people who believe in free press, there's not gonna be many of those people. So, uh, we've got people moving up north, about seven of these guys, and then I'll move these power armor to actually border the ripe, ripe Rolt, Rolt territories. Pennsylvania supermoons declared war on the Brotherhood of Steel Outcasts, very interesting. Cool. Uh, right now, we're making some good stuff. Oh, we got a lot of, a lot of infantry equipment. I could really, really use though some power armor so go ahead and do that that's not bad um can i make all right so if i do, do switching this to be the, at the top really doesn't affect power armor so i'm going to keep it like that and they got rid of that stuff um where is that free press so free press if we select it we will get we will remove the free press we will get a lot of stability even though we might lose a little bit so we're at 68 and now we're up to 93 ah oh, beautiful i love it Cool. Uh, you come down over here. You guys should actually probably train. Cool. Please don't crash. Oh, I don't think it will. We already passed October when I went to the point where it would. And Vault City has stopped giving me good stuff. God dang it. Awesome. Go ahead. Do this. Uh, cool. Now you all come over here because us taking these guys out won't be super, super difficult. Hopefully. Cool. Come over here and do Eastern Nevada. East Nevada. So, Nevada. Protests in Sac City. In the city of Sac City, a crowd of people have formed. Too sudden and organized to be a spontaneous occurrence, especially considering the banners unfurled and slogans chanted. A brave few souls flying NCR flags as the crowd grows and marches on. Protests have broken out of the ex-NCR state. Many have taken to the streets, demanding the return of elections and democracy to the NCR territories. Comply with their demands? Oh, hell no. Let them tire themselves out. Break up the protests. Well, I don't have that much legitimacy. Anyway... Anyways, and the Sac City Massacre. Sporadic protests have occurred in Sac City for several days, and the Enclave Reconstruction Authority has responded by sending their armed forces to disperse the crowds. This move only escalated tensions as power armored forces clashed with the protesters in the streets of Sac City. A few hours later, an Enclave trooper reported sniper fire from the crowd and returned fire before receiving permission to engage. The resulting chaos caused the situation to spiral out of control, resulting in scores of civilian casualties with not a scratch on a soldier's power armor to prove the existence of this supposed snapper. At least there's no free press report on this event. Thank God for no free press. But that don't mean that the word mouth won't spread across the country and we lost some more support for that, which sucks. But, the disloyal opposition. One of the greatest surprises of the past few years is that Grant C. Hayes, Enclave Loyalist and Daglo Mayor, has begun fighting with President Granite. Hayes was raised by the Enclave elite, but somehow the subjugation in California has radicalized this American patriot. Hayes has spoken out in support of ghoul rights, greater aid for impoverished wastelanders, and even the need for to respect those frickin' tribals. This morning, Hayes took to new, the NCR uh, Public Radio, or the New California Public Radio, to announce the formation of a new political party, the New World Party, that he will push for greater rights for all Americans. He's also rejected the Christian military attire of the Enclave's elite for the casual alternative attire for New California's known fall. Hayes stands as the heir of the best of New California and New America. And he has some thoughts on this indefinite military rule. Wow, I am getting really into this. Cool. Um, People Party will now be called the New World Party. Well, we can go to war with them. Yeah, my voice is not doing great. Awesome. Uh, we have until December, I think, right? Yeah, December 14th. Cool. Oh, man, I got some coffee. It is hot. Very warm. Just keep an eye on what's going on around here, though. So, we need to select one of these guys. So, someone in the comments wants me to go with Lynette. Uh, probably a few people actually want me to go with Lynette. Um, but I also have, I have some people who want me to go with Dornan. Not Hayes, obviously, because that's a waste of time. But Dornan or Lynette. I think I might go with Dornan because <clears throat> I don't have Vault City under me. And Lynette is still leader of Vault City. 
So, I'm a little confused as to what they're going to do. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all I got to say is yeah. Yeah, we definitely need more power armor. Ugh. And more war support. Ugh. Boots of this for more civilian factories. Well, we can't even build anything. So, there's really no point to do that. Ooh, law and order. Since the NCR's collapse, New California has been rife with banditry, corruption, and brutality. The NCR's ramshackles uh, bureaucracy, already overstretched, and has all but collapsed despite the enclave reconstruction authority efforts to keep it in place. Gangs and barons rule as they please, and to get to the state up and running again will require substantial effort. Some idealists in the NCR believe we need to restore a faith in the impartial judiciary, a law that protects the salvager and the Brahmin baron alike. Others think we should work with NCR elite and crush dissident quickly and efficiently. After all, a strict constitutional scholar might question how Granite might even became president. <laughs> a republic. Ha! <huh? laughs> Who believes in republics? Ah, uh, autocracy. In which we get underfunded justice system. And we get more weekly stability. Ooh. Actually, we don't technically get more weekly stability. We get less destability or unstability. Because we're losing stability right now. And actually, I need to pretty much immediately go ahead and choose. Uh, I want to do. I need to do Chamber of Commerce very badly, but I need to do Eyeball Patrols to get more autocracy, get rid of underfunded justice system, and then I need to go for indefinite martial law. Just because, yeah, things are going to happen very soon that I need to get rid of. Let's see, disorganized army. Kind of sucks, but I'm still going to attack anyway. So, uh, let you guys. Oh, uh, you guys are good enough. Don't ruin any more of equipment, take a sip of coffee and have a good time. Counterfeiters, with the collapse of the NCR treasury, we are left to fill the gap with Enclave Reconstruction Authority, script, and bottle caps. Unfortunately, this has left counterfeiters with the ability to inject false currency into the economy. We will need to revive the banking system to put a stop to this, which sucks for us, the Brahmin Barons. Even after crushing the rebels of the NCR, the Brahmin Barons' wealth and power gives them a stranglehold on Northern California. Some su suggest we spend men and laser guns to break their power, while others suggest we should cement their position in the United States at great cost or popularity. Some wonder if there's a third option out there. So we're going to lose political power, consumer goods factories for 500 days. We lose some stability, and we get more popularity of oligarchy. So elites, intellectuals we don't really care about. So it's really between, right now, the ruler or the elites. I think I need to go with the elites. I don't think... Yeah. Which one is the... Because the elites sound like they're oligarchic. No. The rulers are... Which one is it? The rulers are... Autocratic? What is autocratic? The elites sound autocratic. Is this, the rulers might be more oligarchic. They're very similar, but they're not exactly the same. Raiders, cool, fortify the north, where free man shall stand still. Or where free, where free man shall stand. Can, oh, they canceled the brother. Darn it. That was actually helping me a lot with my power armor. Um, Kaiser's Legion declared war on Pecos colonies. Alright, whatever. Mm, go ahead and do this. I could use more population. We're at 36%, which kind of sucks. Nuka Land! Before the Great War, New Reno was home to a park full of rides and games called Nuka Land. Although not as impressive as its East Coast counterpart, we could revive it as a symbol of the promise of, of better times to come. And we could also test some experiments on the park goers. So, I'm going to do this just because someone, because people need to look forward to something in the wasteland when as we're um, clamping down on, on un, unquestionable speech. So, this really doesn't hurt us at all, just because we can't build anything anyways. So, um, we could do a Reclaim Declaration of Independence, but I need my political power for other things, we'll say. At least at the current moment. Bar Baron Brahmins. Um, maybe I should do Reclaim the Declaration of Independence. Hmm. Is there anything else I could... Oh, I need to save my political power for switching out. So... Volunteer Army is definitely better than Peacekeeping. I can't do Peacekeeping because I need less than 50% stability. But I really like Peacekeeping because it gives you plus 1% weekly stability, which I think is great. I really like that. So, I bought, I bought patrols. Very nice. Get more autocracy, underfunded justice system, and I need to do indefinite martial law to get rid of the Brahmin Baron's crap. And it helps reduce legitimacy uh, relevancy. So, I think actually the elites are the autocrats. It looks like that, maybe. I, I don't know. See, it's twenty-six percent, and this is oh, oh, they're they're very very close. Frequency analysis, very nice. Let's just do the next one. It's December fourth. Let's go ahead and go to war for you guys. We should be okay. Overall, we should be all right. They're not going to be allied with anybody. I hope they don't have a ton of manpower. We got our close air support already flying over them. So honestly, it should be okay. Uh, go ahead and try to break them as well. There you go. Not bad. Just attack when you can, where you can, you know, no problems. 
No biggies, just take what they have, you know. This is for the liberation of America, so... They, they should just bow down to us. Yeah, exactly. No, no war support, but we didn't need war support, so... And yes, I do see... Ooh, the Red Menace. One unfortunate consequence of our anti-communist education is that some of our enemies have claimed the mantle of communism for themselves. Although it's not very clear these commie bastards even know who Marx is, they flock to the banner of the Legion, forming a popular front against American imperialism. No worries, we'll find out soon why enough it's better to be dead than red. Oh my god. And they got political power. Did we make an encirclement there? Oh, very nice. So, Kaiser, uh, I guess Lanius now. You gonna be a freaking commie? Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Look how many divisions they don't have. Ooh. Wow. I can't believe Khazar's Legion's taking in some commies. Um, the Federation of New York back is going to backstab the New York branch of the Brotherhood of Steel. They were allies earlier to get rid of the Enclave, but now they're like, no, no, no. Very nice. Very, very nice. What's going on over here? The nuclear. Pa was it the nuclear Patriots taken out earlier? They must be a puppet. No. I thought the Nuclear Patriots lost the war against New Georgia. Wait, New Georgia? What, what, were they called something else earlier? Maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to the East Coast. I mean, we'll get here eventually. So, no worries. No worries. Oh, and it looks like we can't really do a lot of damage in particular places. End of the Reformers. That's fine. Um, yeah, this is not going super well. Go ahead and pause the attacks. Since I'm going to start managing this myself. Uh, ooh. Well, except for this attack. I want to see if we can actually win here. Indefinite martial law. Thank God. Cool. Alright, so I really, really need to revive the economy, but I need to do fate of our democracy as well. Because I'm going to go extend presidential dictatorship. The Enclave are born. Huh. Uniting the States of America. That would be really good to do as well. But I know I need to do vaccinations. I ooh, more monthly population. Let's see. The Brahmin Barons establish order. Good. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with Dorn just because I don't have Lynette here and I'm definitely not doing Hayes. So, more than 30% support for the president. So, the anti integrationists are actually the. So, the those are the elites. Well, I'm, I don't know. Oh, god dang it. So, obviously, the president, the ruler, is the ruler. Um. Anti-integrationists. Lynette. I, I, I don't even have Lynette under us. Well, let's go for the next focus first. <clears throat> well, I really need to get rid of reluctance to serve. Hearts and minds. Stability and political power. We're still losing collapsed government. Or we're still losing weekly stability. So I need to get rid of that as fast as possible. So we'll probably have to do this. Yeah, we can remove national spirit. Let's do that. Fate of democracy next. And then I'll go with the industry, because that, that'll be very important to do as well. Cool. Uh, yeah, you don't need to attack anymore. Just kind of hang out. And I'll point out where we need to go. And the Federation of New York won. That was very quick. The communist uprising is brewing. What? I've never seen this. What? What the hell is this? Effects have not completed. Warn of the Red Menace. Curb Elite's Influence. To complete. Communists will rise up forever in America? Um. You know what? I would really like to go with Vice Pres President Lynette, but I'm going to just do this for now. President America doesn't need a vice president, he needs a firm hand, and the president needs men who will share his vision. Dornan is a soldier, and he knows how to follow orders. He'll do whatever Granite thinks best to keep America safe. Don't step out of line. In which we will, the president will become the ruling party, and I get Vice President Dornan with plus 10% war support, and we get more autocracy. So I actually chose the autocratic path. Interesting. How do I stop the commies? I don't want a communist uprising. I've got 100 days to do this. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm actually getting defeated. Oh, they can probably actually pierce me. Oh, they can't. Do they have air support? No, we do. Oh, we're actually doing quite a bit of damage to them, too. Good. Well, they want to attack that direction. I will attack another direction. Should be able to win here. Over here, we're actually lost in battle. Wow. That's insane. Communist uprising. Warn of the Red Menace. 
I don't want to lose too much stability either. Cool. They are attacking us like crazy, which is good for us. Go ahead and send the infantry in and help uh, other divisions out. Because this should get rid of a lot of the enemy's manpower. They still have some, so good to know. The infantry, even though I do want to get rid of them eventually, the infantry are pretty good. We made some pretty good infantry divisions. Awesome. Go ahead and push this way, and I'm going to push you up here as well. Nice. Oh, and we got another infantry division. So be it. Uh, cool. Awesome. Let's get some more research speed going. Let them fan themselves out because I'm going to cut them off at the knees. Come on. Warrior code. Nice. More recruitable population. More army soft attack and hard attack. I'm just really worried about the uh, commies uprising. Federation planted in Cuba. According to the Federation radio, last night Federation troops landed on the coast of Cuba where they met fierce resistance. The Federation became interested in this place after refugees from Cuba requested help from local gangs called Escambre, which have been long known for the cruelty. Well, we could only wish the Federation good luck in efforts to defend democracy. Curious. Very curious. Alright, well, if you want to attack that direction, I can... Awesome. Immediately come up this way. Go ahead and crush these guys. No worries, no problems. Kami's been defeated forever. Like, I don't have an option? Who the hell's communist here? I mean, I know we have Washington Brotherhood, but they're not communists. The she's Chinese, supposedly, under Wendell Wilkie or Tan Hu. I know the Kami's are over here, but I can't do anything about that. Are intellectuals communists? They might be. Awesome. Go ahead and stamp them out. Get rid of these guys. And there they go. Fate of our democracy. New Reno prospects under our rule, but we must decide how to govern the United States. Douglas' rule has been successful and he's brought, back us, brought us back from the brink. The nation's been under martial law since the end of the war, and he could commit, cement his power at frankly better than we could hope. Rule. Or he could aim to restore the United States, risking... Risking losing control of the Enclave in elections and giving power to the natives. It's time for elections? Oh, hell no. Extend presidential powers? Thank the Lord. So we lost legitimacy, which means nothing. We got more autocracy, we got more stability, and we got have cheaper political advisors, ec ec economy laws, can't speak, conscription laws, and we removed collapsed government. Thank the Lord. Hearts and Minds, Department of Education. Yesterday's enemies. This would be good to do as well. Firm is granite, uniting the states of America. FBI would have been actually pretty good to do as well. I need to do, I need to do this. For Chamber of Commerce, so I can revive the economy. Because collapsed trade needs Chamber of Commerce. Right now, with this, I could go I can't go peacekeeping. Uh we would get more attack, more population, and mobilization speed. Uh, very nice. So I'm gonna switch over to volunteer army. Nice. And plus 15% more attack. Let's get rid of these bastards. Very nice. Out of city declared war on Loch Bushnell. And just go ahead and take, put them out of misery. Plus 50% more attack will definitely help us out here. Oh, and these guys got cut off. Beautiful. Nice. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and take all states. Cool. That war is done and over with, and time for communist uprisings. I just want to know how we can stop that. Um, I don't know where they're going to spawn. That's my problem. Fortify the notes. At, at most, five divisions. What? Will fail if... At, so, it will fail if they have less than six divisions. So, just keep these guys here. Get more stability, more army XP. Cool. I really don't know what's going to happen here. So I'm going to plant my soldiers in New Reno and the outskirts. And I'll put the other half of these guys in Shady Sands. And take the other five and put them around Sac City. Sacramento. Cool. I really don't know. I've never seen this happen before. So we'll see what happens. Oh good, we got log camps. That actually doesn't help us a lot, but it helps us a little bit. Construction speed, cool. And 
and you guys come over here. Hang out. Ah, uh, stay with the power armor. Oops. Just go ahead and stay with the power armor. That would be for the best. Ooh, transport scrap fighters. Well, might as well do that. Cool. All right. Well, see, we took out ripe rolt territories. We're boarding the Mormons in New Canaan. There's the Tar Walkers, Kaiser's Legions, having a little bit of difficulty with the Pecos colonies and Baudelio ranchers, but they're not doing too badly. Pecos colonies is actually pretty hard to take out. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, improve working conditions. Hold military theory committee. That would be great to do. Good, we're doing that. I mean, I don't. Presidential dictatorship is really nothing I can do. Is there, is there anyone I can select to like stamp out commies? I I don't see anybody. He's a reformer for intellectual support. Uh, someone can't non. Oh no 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 no. Oh god, that's not good. Maybe hearts and minds would change that. That sounds like it could change things for us. So only construction speed. Silence Congress. Gets the event the Iron President. Yesterday's enemy sounds pretty good as well. I'm going to go ahead and silence Congress and see what happens with that. Alright, so we fortified the north, which is good. Very, very good. And we've got some divisions up there to help guard the... Please don't go to war with me, for the love of God. I will give you territory if you demand it. Just don't go to war with me. I can't have a war with the Brotherhood of... The Western Brotherhood of Steel, because they have way more divisions than me. And I need so much more supplies than anybody else. Yeah, if I do that, that means nothing. Uh, supplies? Just more power armor. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, my goodness. I am... I am... Lone trees are in a civil war. What happens if I war to the Red Menace? We have enough stability that I don't mind doing this. Um, should I have taken this before? Maybe I should have taken this before. I don't know, man. But we're definitely getting a lot more war support. All right, so we're gonna have some commie uprisings probably. And okay, to the president's great surprise, at eight o'clock, nineteenth of April, twenty twenty-eight, saw no communist uprising. What? Perhaps the communists are more devious than we feared. We'll be waiting, commie scum. Maybe I've taken things too far. Oh, we'll be waiting. Oh, hell no. You made me talk about this way too much. You got me worried about this, and I even warned of the Red Menace. Get out of here. You garbage. Cool. Sharecropper farms, very nice. Um, Resources, cool. Yeah, I just, I need a lot more resources. We silenced Congress. We lost some legitimacy, which means nothing almost at this point. We got more stability, which we didn't even need. And we can suspend elections. Well, I really need to focus on building up my country some more. Uh, what are some debuffs that we have? I know I need to get rid of NCR resistance. Brahmin Barons will leave within the next year. So California resistance is really the last thing that we have here. Even though I could really use this. Fund the EPA, which would be very good to use, actually, for us. The GEC project, revive the Federal Reserve, would be very good as well. Let's go ahead and do yesterday's enemies. And I will suspend election soon. Cool. 40 days. I'm just... No one go to war with me, please. Oh, and we're actually building stuff up. That's really nice. If that's the case, let's go ahead and just repair all this stuff because I can use it. I, I need to use it very soon. So that would be good. Washington Brothers are so big. They're so huge. But the Bell Hammer is still holding up just for a little bit. Never mind. I lied. Okay, then. Mm, you gotta love coffee. But yeah, Kaiser, how's Kaiser doing? Pax Romana, huh? What does that mean for them? I played this one before, but I don't even remember. That means not much. They lose a little bit of manpower, get more production efficiency cap. They need Boulder City, which they do not have. Where's Boulder City? Boulder. Well. And then there's Boulder City. Oh, it's over here. Oh, they have to go to war with the Mojave Brotherhood to take that. Or Mojave Chapter and the Western Brotherhood and their allies. Interesting. So yeah, I'm going to keep building up infantry as long as I need to. I'm not saying that I want to... Ooh, 
I want to keep it, but it's I I need to have it. So, and can we get out of this collapse economy? Last time I went with free trade immediately. I think I really need to go with limited exports, but we'll probably do export focus. Collapse economy, civilian economy, partial mobilization. Come on, just give me more political power, please. Oh, thank God, thank God. We got rid of yesterday's enemies, which is really really good. And see our leadership ruling California. Reluctance to serve. Um, uniting the Uni the states of America. Seeking allies actually would be probably pretty good. I still need Vault City, so that means I have to go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel sometime. Hearts and minds. Vaccinations. More monthly population, but I need business. So many decisions need to be made, man. Um... Actually, let's recruit the population. More more construction speeds actually very good. And I need more factory output. I really do. There's so many things I want to do, though. I need more business, too. I really, really need more business. Ruling California. Let's just go ahead and do hearts and minds. And let's select... I need limited exports. I guess we'll go with export focus. And then... Um... With limit oh, the, oh that, that definitely helped us out a little bit here. Wow, we got a crap ton of metal. But we don't have a lot extra. <laughs> we export so much. Oh my goodness. So, construction speed. Well, at least we got that. Oh, that didn't help us too much here, but that's alright. That's definitely A-OK -okay with me. We get point, 1.49 political power day. Thank the Lord. Ooh, Kaiser's Legion is looking thick. Dang. That is thick. What wars are going on right now? Some probably on the East Coast. Long... Lone Tree Civil War. Oh, oh, counterfeiters. Same thing. I've already read this earlier. Don't really need to read it again. And two power armor a day. Now we're cruising, man. Now we're doing well with that stuff. Even though we definitely need more advanced technology and electronics. The USS article award on Farmers of New Ontario. Oh, the farmers. Oh, I don't think... Is that the Kekistani flag? Oh, my goodness. That's cool. And I'm not going to click on that. I'm just kind of letting time speed up so I can get rid of Collapsed Economy because this is killing us. It's killing us, guys. Mm. I love that coffee. I'll end the episode very, very soon. I will. I promise. Uh, just want more political power, please. Give me your pee, -pee. Please. Please give me your pee, -pee. Mm, Hearts. Hearts and minds. Uh, more political power, which would be great. As well as stability. And... I can't do any of this because I cannot replace Collapse Economy. Revi I need the Federal Reserve, god dang it. Uh, hearts and Minds, cool, great. Let's revive that. Uh, I should have went that with that earlier, dang it. H&R, uh, none of these really matter too much. Um, last thing we choose, we tried this earlier. Armor, Hardness, Breakthrough, that's recruitable population. Attack, I definitely want more attack in the future. Um, but, but, and this is a huge but, these are okay, they're just, they're okay, they're not great. Oh, production, that would be really cool, but let's do one decision before we leave here together. Um, there's really not much else, but let's do, reclaim the Declaration of Independence. So, our initial expedition to the Capital Wasteland reveals the damage was worse than we have feared. It looked like the region's water supplies contaminated super mutants and raiders. <clears throat> Fight over the wasteland, the Washington Mall, and everything is in ruins. We can stick with the original plan to just steal the Declaration of Independence, but we could also set up a humanitarian mission to help the people of the wasteland. What would be a greater event than seeing the Enclave Reconstruction Authority troops occupying the Capital Wasteland? Come back with more uh, war sports. People of the wasteland, your saviors are here. Um, well, I'm going to be there eventually, so I'm going to actually support them for right now. I know legitimacy doesn't really matter, but I will be over there by the end of this campaign. I will be over here as long as I remember to make sure that Steam does not auto-update the Old World Blues mod because there's going to be an update September 1st for Old World Blues, which will break my save, and I definitely don't want that to happen. So anyways, that's as much time for as we have here today, guys. We took out the Ripe Root Territories, added them to the Enclave Reconstruction Authority. We have re begun to... Make sure that our economy is doing better. It's not great still, but we're doing better. We have a reluctance to serve, but we are doing better and better and better. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you th Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And yes, I see you on BitChute when I upload to both BitChute and YouTube. I thank you all of you for subscribing regardless. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.